Are you losing marks in PT listening? Read a lecture is one of the task where you need to focus. It gives you easily 5 to 10 marks because read a lecture gives you 5 marks for content for every single task. In the exam you can get 1 to 2. So you can easily get 10 marks for them listening from read a lecture. Read a lecture can be very easy. So stay tuned till the very end and save this video for future reference because read a lecture is going to be amazingly easy for you guys after you watch this video. And I will be sharing the template which is working perfectly fine in 2024 and students are using it and getting perfect 90 in their speaking and listening module. In this video, I'll be explaining you how to use the template, how to take notes and what things you need to keep in mind when you're performing this task. So this is going to be a really important video for it a lecture. So over here, how we're going to do is we're going to write the notes in three, three word sequence because that's how we're going to speak, right? So I'm going to do one of the We've been taught that once we start something, we have to finish it. And I think that so often we view books as this linear thing, whereas I think a different view of books is what information do I need out of the book right now? Is that uh, an entertainment read? Do I need to read from start to finish? Is it a read where I'm comparing different views on a similar problem, especially across nonfiction, right? Am I, am I comparing and contrasting two or three different author's argumentation or author's views on a particular angle to a subject? In which case, I might not need to read the whole book. I just need to read a chapter. But then I've gotten everything out of that book. The books are there to serve you. Right? You own the book. The book is your property. It's your mental property. It's your physical property. And you can do with it what you want. And you don't have to feel bad about putting down a book. It's the author's job to pull you into the book. It's your job to extract what you need out of the book. And I think that extracting what you need, you can just read the table of contents, read the introduction, maybe read the conclusion, skim a little bit. Okay. Topic is going to be book. Now I'm going to speak two to three lines from the top, from the middle, from the end. So I cover the entire. Okay. Book was the main topic of the lecture. He talks about talk, start and different. He talks about view books and linear. He talks about non-fiction and three. He talks about author's angle and subject. He talks about property, mental and physical. He talks about table content and conclusion. To conclude, conclusion. Okay. Now over here, to conclude topic, to conclude topic is fine. No need to put a word in that particular right topic. Over here, what I have done is, I have been very smart that I only wrote the most important words. Okay. I did not write the verbs, prepositions. So don't write articles, prepositions, lot of verbs. Okay. Try to put keywords over there. Okay. And then second thing what I have done over here is if you guys have noticed that I have one second, let me pull out the marker over here. So it's easy for you guys to understand. Yes. So I spoke these two. Then I spoke these two. Then I spoke this one. And then I spoke this one. Okay. So that gives me six sentences. Now, obviously, I had these many words to cover. So obviously, I did six instead of five. If it, the lecture was shorter, I would have done five. If the lecture was a very big lecture, maybe for two minutes, then I would have to speak maybe seven, two. Okay. But now, First two sentences, middle sentences, and last sentences. Why? Because I need to cover the content from everywhere. I cannot just have the first half. Okay. So don't do that when you're practicing. Make sure that you cover it from everywhere, from all the portions. Okay. Now try to write it into three, three words as I have done. Okay. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, because that's how you're going to speak. Okay. Then another thing, no stressing. Same like the scrimmage, you have to complete one sentence, then take a pause. One sentence, then take a pause. Okay. You cannot speak it otherwise. You're going to lose the marks. Okay. So one sentence, then pause, another sentence, then pause, another sentence, then pause, and so and so and so. Okay. So make sure that you do that. The most important word, whatever you feel like, just use that word as a topic okay now that is very important right that you must do that okay so that you get full marks in the content 
okay writing the notes again very important now if you guys have noticed i have had more than 12 12 to 13 sentences but i only picked about seven which were important and which were giving me variety of content okay so if you only have seven sentences that's less you need to have at least 10 to 12 then only you need to make a choice so write more okay then only you can make a choice if you only have six to seven sentences automatically then you will have lack of choice that means you need to include all the words which you have okay so that way you will get less marks for the content so write faster okay so that you can get better marks with the content use one form only okay if you're using keywords stick with keywords okay and that's an easier way to get the full marks with the group of words you might not get many you might get few again make sure that you speak one sentence then take a pause one sentence completely then a pause okay if there is a question sometimes there are some questions with rita lecture where they give you a video on the screen as well and where they give you an image on the screen as well okay don't get confused it's again a same question the only thing they're doing is just trying to distract you or just trying to you know confuse you so in that case what you have to do is you have to pick the keywords from the lecture but you also have to pick the keywords from that particular image on the screen too so mix couple of words from the image and mix a couple of words from the lecture audio okay and similarly if there's a video playing if there are some words mentioned in that video just pick a couple of words from there you cannot ignore anything okay so if there is an image make sure that you pick a couple of words from there and then obviously you're going to pick the words from the lecture audio now i remember there was one student who literally got confused when they saw the image and the audio started playing because when they saw the image they thought it's a describe image okay but guys they always give you introduction okay at the start so if you see over here uh, introduction is given right you will hear a lecture after listening to the lecture you will get 10 seconds so always read the introduction so that you always know which task you are a bit basically attempting towards okay so that in the exam you don't get that same kind of confusion which the other student got okay the major currency of our reward system is dopamine an important chemical or neurotransmitter there are many dopamine receptors in the forebrain but they're not evenly distributed certain areas contain dense clusters of receptors and these dopamine hotspots are a part of our reward system drugs like alcohol nicotine or heroin send dopamine into overdrive leading some people to constantly seek that high in other words to be addicted sugar also causes dopamine to be released though not as violently as drugs and sugar is rare among dopamine inducing foods broccoli for example has no effect which probably explains why it's so hard to get kids to eat their veggies speaking of healthy foods let's say you're hungry and decide to eat a balanced meal you do and dopamine levels spike in the reward system hotspots but if you eat that same dish many days in a row dopamine levels will spike less and less eventually leveling out that's because when it comes to food the brain evolved to pay special attention to new or different tastes so drug is going to be the thing okay, quickly going through the words Drug was the main topic of the lecture. She talks about major currency and reward. She talks about dopamine, nervous and transmit. She talks about high addictive and sugar. She talks about violent, rare and foods. She talks about healthy, balanced and meals. She talks about brain involvement and taste to conclude topic. That's it. Okay. Now, this was again a typical exam question. You will hear a lot of noise at the background. Okay. They try to distract you and then you have to be quick with your words. Okay and the rest of the system is very same as you guys have seen detail lecture can be now very easy you have to make sure that you fulfill all the components you have to make sure that you implement the template like i have done for you guys and you guys will always get perfect scores make sure that you practice this task on a daily basis to get a glimpse of it in the starting to get a gist of it and after you have got a hold of it then you can do it on an alternative days make sure to practice from visual language experts portal because that will give you the scoring and real-time results 
and you can also get access to vip scoring if you just go and subscribe over there and we will give you access to all the materials now if you like this video make sure that you subscribe our channel if you have not already give a thumbs up and share it with your friends in the comment section make sure that you put the task where you want us to make another video and where you're finding it difficult to perform when you're practicing for your pt exam we will be making sure that we help you to clear your pt exam in 2024 so make sure that you stay tuned for all the other videos vishal is signing off from visual language experts i'll be seeing you in the next video all the best